What's up guys? So this is gonna be my first review. I've always wanted to learn how to ride BMX. So I came up with the idea of making a build series, you could call it, of a budget BMX for beginners. So I actually found one on, there's this app called OfferUp, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but people sell used stuff. I actually found a decent looking bike, a, a decent brand not just like a Walmart one I didn't want to go that cheap so but anyways so I purchased it but since I'm gonna have a BMX um, I need to have a way to transport it so I went on Amazon and I found this bike rack that you put on the roof rack on your car it's a really cheap one I'm gonna do a review for you guys maybe you guys are looking into buying one or maybe you guys are you guys already found this one and you're just looking at reviews to see how it works. Here it is, let me show you guys and let's get right to it. All right guys, so this is the Swagman bike rack. Um, as you can see right there in the picture, that's how it would look. Those are the racks in the car and then the actual bike rack. So let's get to it and let's see what's, what's inside. Again, for you guys, if you don't know, I will leave the link in the description. That way, if you want to check it out, you can. So as soon as I get it out of the box, I can see that it's not cheaply made. Okay, it's uh, good quality stuff. It's actually kind of heavy and this rails, which is where the bike is actually going on, they seem to have a nice quality. They're painted that way they don't get rusty. And also, I believe all the all the hardware in here is actually stainless steel. So that way it doesn't get all rust. So let's open it, read the instructions, and get to installing. All right, guys, I'll see you outside. Let's get everything out. Let's start setting it up. What you're gonna do is measure how far away you need this in respect to your racks. So, all right, so what you're gonna line is those long holes with the other long holes on the other one. You're gonna line them and you're gonna put screw on top. Boom. You're gonna put the washer and you're gonna put the nut. And tighten it for now. Get the other screw. Okay, so what you're gonna do is the nut is actually an 11, the bolt is a 10. Go ahead and align them. That step is done. Bolt, nut. Next, you're gonna get these ends and you're gonna put them in the end of the actual rail. Just put them and push. And just work them in. gonna get this part now you're gonna get two more bolts nuts and watch so now what we're gonna do is we're going to align that part this part right here with the rack and what we want to do is there's one round hold too long one round too long one round so we want to put it on those two and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through with the screw and then on the other side we're gonna put the washer and the nut on both sides so I'll be right back so now that we have that set let's go to the roof rack all right so since my rack has that wind diffuser um, I'm gonna have to put it more towards the middle but uh, if you guys don't have that then you won't have to worry you can put it to whatever side you want because I think you can actually fit like three of them three bike racks so next you have this hardware and this 
what they are is they're just wider so you're gonna grab the one that actually fits your racks maybe your racks are really wide and the skinny one won't fit but in my case this one will fit so this one is the one that I'm gonna use so I put it under and I go through and then I have these butterfly locks I'm just gonna put them in boom boom and done you're gonna grab it and you're gonna get it through see like that now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the butterfly and nuts and you're gonna put them over so now you grab those right there where we have the U joint and you're just gonna put it on and you're gonna put it on Go ahead and tighten them, but tighten them evenly. So hit one, two, three turns, and then one, two, three turns on the other one, the other side as well. So once you have that, you already have the front set up. So now let's move to the back. We're gonna use again the same U bolt. So, but this one's gonna go on the top. So basically how it's gonna go, here's gonna be the rack. This is gonna go over. This is gonna go under. You're gonna put a washer and then you're gonna put the butterfly. So let's get to it. Then you put the washer. And the nut, the butterfly. And just leave it there. Now the same thing on the other side. You put the nut, or you put the washer, and then you put the butterfly in it. Now go to the front and tighten them again just to make sure some things that I wanted to tell you guys about is this comes with a protection it comes with a key I don't know if you guys can see it, it comes with keys and where the actual bike goes it's rubber so it doesn't damage your frame also guys I forgot to mention it comes with straps so when you put the bike on the rack you can actually strap the wheel to the actual rack. So let's get to it. Let's get the bike and put it on. It also comes with keys. Uh, it seems like when you can only tighten it and untighten it when the key is on. So that's a really good feature, that way they can steal the bike. And you get these straps. Just so you guys have an idea of how much it moves when you're driving, let me show you. The bike, it doesn't move at all. Really, 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 really impressed with this product and it's super cheap. But anyways guys, let me show you how it looks one last time.
right guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it was helpful for you guys if you guys are thinking on buying it or you guys don't know how to install it leave a thumbs up if you guys liked it or if, it was, if I was helpful subscribe comment let me know what you guys think about the videos new ideas whatever you guys want and as always write safe and I'll see you guys on the next one